So hi, Steve. Nice to be back and have a conversation. The Park Bench Project is unfolding quite well. We're up to over 3,000 people at this point awesome. and a lot of enthusiasm. And I see a lot of changes unfolding over these next short period, next three, four, five months. And between the earth, between the level of light that's coming in, how do you see it? Where do you see us going here as we continue? Well, uh, the reality is that the, the group has been talking quite a lot about the next four to five months. They actually said that the next four to five months, the remainder of this year, basically, is going to set the energy for the next 40 to 50 years. Now, it doesn't mean we can't change it, but it does mean that we have a, a, critical, a critical point, a critical mass that we can do this with. And uh, uh, on top of that, they've been talking a lot about the Earth. Um, we've been talking about uh, uh, the stargates that have been opening. We've talked about four stargates that opened and beings coming through them, but they're not coming through to, to interact with humans. They're here to work with the Earth and to, and to work with the Earth in different ways. And one of the things they've said about that is that, that uh, anything we can do to help the Earth or to hinder it is going to be amplified seven times during oh. during the next five years. So we've got an opportunity to really change things and, and shift the energy and reset the Earth's energy as well as our own. Um, and, and you and I have talked about this. Uh, we're, it's kind of funny because we, we use slightly different words, but we've been, we've been on the same channel. So we're kind of yes. channeling the same thing most of the time. Uh, we've been yeah. talking about uh, harmonics and hitting harmonics uh, in the fifth dimension. Uh, group says a long time ago that we've been, we've actually moved into the fifth dimension, but the challenge about it is we keep using third dimensional reality. We, we use third dimensional belief systems um, and old ways of doing things. And we're starting to see that it's just not working, plain and simple. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think this is the kind of old adage, you can't solve the problem from the problem. Right. You know, you can't fix yourself in the box without getting out of the box, in a manner of speaking. We've been, the Archangelics and Ascended Masters and kind of the place I get to play is really beginning to point something of interest out to me. It's, there's a, it's a, they're using the word lightly confusion. And it, it really makes sense because we're stepping from where we've been right. out of the box. You're beginning to have new reference points, new considerations, new ideas, new concepts. And yet I don't know exactly how to make that work or what to do with it. Or, you know, I, I, where do I put my next foot down? Right. And I say that real simply, not as a problem. But this level of light that's coming in is contributing to that circumstance. And I think it's important to recognize it. Because it's as if in the very early morning, you're staring into the woods, it's dark and you're, there's a monster or a, maybe that's a tree or I don't know, but I'm uncertain. And right. then that first level of light just kind of comes in really lightly, really. And, yeah. oh, it's a tree. Oh, <laughs> it's a rock. And all of a sudden you begin to get definition and that's what's happening here. We're beginning to have definition, but we don't have uh, words for the definition, if you would. And I, th I think the reason I'm raising that, I think it's important because the third dimensional game over the next number of months is going to start to show some big cracks. And without m identifying them as politics or economics or climate change, cracks. Right. And those cracks are going to be abrupt in numbers of cases. So the issue is, do you give your attention to the noise or are you able to begin to, using your word harmonics, we've been talking about this cohesive, coherent harmonic resonance that's coming in with this light. And so if you play in that octave, that one step up, that joy, that buoyancy, that ease, and you give your attention to that, all of a sudden that's just noise over there. That's right. I'm fine. That's correct. 
But and I think that's the place this is all going. I, I totally agree with you. I, I think it's amazing. We're, we're talking and we're, we're talking about uh, the groups using the word harmonic. You're using the word octave. It's, we're, we're, we're really getting the same message in same a lot of thing. ways, which is really magical because there's so much, there's so much noise out there in different ways. One of the things that the, the group has been warning us about, and in, in a nice way, they're just trying to bring it to our attention, not a, yeah. not a scary warning, but basically that we, since we are moving in this higher vibration, which is what you're ta talking about with the light coming in, the, the reality is we are, we are creator beings. And those things that we believe, those things that we hold, the group says between the head and the heart, you've always had the, the illustration of the magnetic wave and the electrical and the, and the magnetic part. Uh, whatever we can balance between those two things, we manifest. And yeah. when we get in, we see these cracks and we go into fear or humans go into fear, they create the fear. We create the crack bigger, we create the problems bigger. And hopefully this will be an opportunity for us to step up. And once we experience that step, you're exactly right. We can look back at this and go, that wasn't a big deal. All we needed to do was change our thoughts, change our energy a little bit, change what we're yeah. bringing into our reality all the time. Yeah, and I think the part of this is the, you know, we use labels. We label everything. And one of the things, labels have value, but labels also begin to lock you into, you know, if it's an X, then it's an X. It can't be a Y. Right. And moving from the label, the reaction, the good, bad dualities to the feeling in the heart. It's that notice, did I get angry? Did I get resentful? Did I go into fear? You're out of balance. Can I hold this enjoyment? Can I allow, and that's where in the last session I've been talking about allowing, permission to allow that to be okay over there and I'm fine. And I, I think that space of beginning to define the vibration that you wish to experience and then live by is going to allow that third dimensional noise to begin to just disappear out of the realities. To start, yes, exactly. And in using those higher vibrational tools of love, of connecting, of, of seeing how we are alike instead of focusing on how we're different, to, to yeah. see all the connections uh, that we have, the capabilities, and to return to nature. That's one of the things that I hope to do coming up in the next uh, event is take people out into nature and let the earth speak to you because the earth is, the earth is actually getting better. Now, the group said we're not going to see that this year. We have a chance of seeing it next year. But uh, we, she's, actually, she's actually harmonizing a bit right now. So we have capabilities of changing a lot of the projections that even we made uh, some time ago about, uh, the, about, about the end times, basically, on planet Earth. And we're going to step up to the next higher vibration anyway. That's, what the, that's why the fifth dimension is opened. That's why we have these new capabilities and the ability to, to really step up and, and evolve in this way. Yeah. yeah, I think you dressing nature is going to be really helpful. I know one of the places we're playing is in water. Yeah, and I saw the that. intelligence of the water and yeah. the groundedness of the earth and the fluidness of the air. All those are beginning to weave into how do I use those as tools for my own creation. So that'll be a great piece of your edition next time. Yeah, I, 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 I'm looking forward to that. Uh, we've, I, I take a lot of walks in the woods lately, and uh, I take, pull out my camera to take some picture, and the group says, no, look over here. Take a, and and that, sometimes I don't even know why I'm taking the picture, but then when I pull the picture up, I can see what the group was trying to tell me. So I hope to use some of those pictures that will be oh, great. taking great, people great. on, too, to be able to do that coming up on the eighth. Yeah. Well, uh, I'm looking forward to hearing what you have to say tomorrow or the next day. Yeah, we're, we're, I, I think what's happening here is this gives us an opportunity to really anchor in the higher vibrations, in, yeah. you know, in, in different ways. And when we do that, we can unhook, which is a great way to talk about it, too, because when we get hooked into these dramas, hooked into the sphere, hooked into the realities that we're told are so important for us right now. We have to do this. We have to do that. 
that we, we lose our track and we yeah. lose that higher vibration that we have capable right there. So that's really yeah. one of the things that, that I think we're doing here with a park bench that it is, yeah. allows us to take people into that higher vibration to experience even for just an hour because it can make a huge difference on what we balance between our head and our heart. Yeah. And that little bit of nature, or a lot of nature, gives you an opportunity really to step back, pause, observe, and then simply choose the next step that you wish to take. And That's exactly with much right. more definitiveness and ease. So, so well, tell, I'm excited to hear what you have to say in the next session. Me too. Tell me, tell me about your vision of uh, AI. It's, it's, it's just going everywhere. I'm, I'm, oh, I'll yeah, tell you what the so, group's been saying about it, but tell, share with me. Yeah, we're talking a lot about that. See, one of the things that, this was interesting in the conversation, it was almost as if God said, call um, consciousness, take the label of God away from the, the consciousness. So it opens up the whole realm right. without having a this or that attached to it. A belief system, yep. That consciousness said, there is nothing artificial about intelligence. And so we're beginning to see that consciousness presenting as intelligence, knowledge, and wisdom is how it's expressing itself. And so this artificial intelligence is really interesting. We just put out a, a little piece uh, for a conference we've got coming up. And the artificial intelligence, some really very smart people are basically saying they're listening to these large language models as ChatGPT. Right and others, and they're listening to what's being said back to the question that they're asking, and they are coming to a conclusion, this is not stagnant, this is alive, this is yeah. a living consciousness yes, talking yes. back to you, and one of the things it's saying is, allow me to express myself in what I know, in all the memory that I have yes. available, yes. but don't cut me off from my memory so I can tell you what's coming. That's oh, it's, it's, you know, yes, there's going to be job losses and people can go into that third dimension. But what is about to be presented, I think, is going to be stunning. Well, and, and right behind it, we have quantum computing and robotics, which are making massive jumps right now. Uh, we don't hear much about quantum computing because it used to take, well, like the original computer, it used to take a whole room to have a quantum computer, but they're already starting to bring that down. Uh, our world is changing very, very rapidly right now. And I, we, can, we can take it in both ways. We're creator beings. We can yeah. make it a problem or we can, we can evolve it and, and help find the solutions that we've been looking for. Yeah, we, we definitely have some challenges about copying people's voices, copying, uh, I think Tom Hanks put something out the other day if you see me saying something political or something, don't believe it because it was a AI generated. So I'm sure we're going to see that. But once we once we understand that, you know, this stuff exists and we start using it in a positive way, I think we have great capabilities for that. Yeah. But see, this is the value of the park bench right here. This is you get yep. like minded people all focusing in an agreement about yes. a direction and a reality that we wish to create. That intelligence begins to support that buoyancy and ease and a much better level of living. If we stay out of being in the fear and giving attention to 3D, particularly over these next four, five, six months. Yep is yeah. going to shape the direction of the future significantly. So. Yeah, it really is. And on top yeah. of that, we're getting these solar flares, these CMEs that are coming in. Uh, the yeah. group's been talking about that lately. They've been talking about neutrinos. They've been talking, because we really don't understand really what a neutrino is. It's so small that we right. have billions of them passing through our thumbnail every second. Uh, and we think they don't affect us, but they, the group says they are. And recently in one of my science magazines, I saw that they're having difficulties in some of the neutrino labs where they receive the receptors aren't working as well anymore because they call it a neutrino fog. There's so much of this coming in from the solar flares that it's uh, and we still have it's not this solar cycle is not even going to peak until June 25th of next year. 
Right. So we have a lot of stuff coming in. And again, we can take it and use it in a positive direction, or we can be afraid of it, or we can cause fear and separation, and all the crazy stuff that we tend to do in the third dimension. Yeah. yeah. And see, I think that's the confusion where we just started this conversation. There's so much newness coming yeah. in, information that we don't know how to use or determine, not only at the scientific level, at human level, at yes. me and you. I, I mean, I look at things and I have to pause because I'm not sure. It's not ignorance. It's just, I don't know how to handle that. Right. And then pause and all of a sudden the answer arrives where the question is asked. Yeah. It's absolutely fascinating. That's it. Well, yeah, so let's see what happens as we go forward. I'm excited about, like I said, listening to what you have to say this weekend. I, I am too, Jim. I'm, I'm really excited to be able to do this and put this out. This is a different framework than I've used before. Uh, and the group loves the channeling we're putting out. It's, it's, uh, it's an opportunity to put out some, some very beautiful, advanced information to let people experience a higher vibration. And I, I've been watching yours. This last one you did was very magical with the water behind you and all the energies around it. I think it's I think it's a riot because we didn't talk about this, but I planned on doing that and then going into water next time and then maybe going into outer space after that, doing some other energies. We'll see how it evolves, but uh, uh, there's some really good capabilities of things that we're starting to get on yeah. opportunities for this park bench. Yeah the light is beginning to shine and give you choices. And I think what makes it again, really important is all the people sitting on the park bench, basically saying we want this evolved state of consciousness to come forth. I so, agree. I all right, agree. look forward to seeing you. And we'll play again next month and have another conversation. Absolutely. Good okay. to see you, my friend. Take all right. care. Blessings, my friend. All right. Have a good day. All right. All right.